Hello, my dear friends. Jesus is enough. Why am I saying this? In all these 2000 years where we have seen very many personalities, very big kings and uh, very big leaders, parties, ideologies, everything has come and gone. Many people have come and gone, but only one person who is remaining till today as very dear person for the most of the people in this world, whether they are Christians or Hindus or Muslims or Buddhists or Jews, whoever it may be, for everybody is one person very important and they love and like him. That is Jesus. All these ideologies, philosophies, all these persons, all these kingdoms have not had this span of life, this span of fame like Jesus Christ. What has made this Jesus, who was only 33 years in this world, so famous? Why you and I love Jesus today? My dear friends, it is enormous to understand the person of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. People are crying to him. They are uh, adoring him. They love him. They go and do everything in his name. Even today, so many missionaries are uh, in this world like I, who leave the uh, country, his, uh, their own people, and they do everything just for the sake of Jesus. Jesus, for me, is everything. I love him so much. Especially when I see the uh, a text from St. Paul to the Galatians, which we will also read or hear on Sunday readings this week, this weekend. It is enormous how Paul also has understood Jesus. He is writing, my dear friends, Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things and in him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead that in all things he himself might be preeminent. For in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross through him, whether those on earth or those in heaven. Wonderful words. I really admire that Paul had understood Christ very much. That means Christ Jesus is God. He is coming from God and he is God. And through him, through Jesus, the whole creation has come. The creation has the beginning and the end in Jesus Christ. And in this world where this creation is living, he is guiding. That means every movement of the human beings, every movement of the creation is dependent on Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is something like uh, yeah, the breath of this creation, my dear friends. The breath of, the, uh, of this uh, creation. That means we cannot breathe, we cannot live without Jesus Christ. Of course, many people, they may not know Jesus or they may not adore Jesus. They may not have him as God, but for everyone is Jesus there. That means Jesus is everywhere in whole creation. That means we can understand God only through Christ. Only through him we can see the wonderful nature of God. If we 
want to know father then we can go only through jesus christ in all our undertakings my dear friends if we go through christ in all our ups and downs of life then the life will have some good end the life will have some meaning because christ is taking care of us from the beginning of the day till the end of the day from the beginning of our life till the end of life there should be only jesus jesus is everything he is god he is a guide he is uh, uh, our uh, future and he is uh, justice my dear friends with this knowledge with this joy let us start a new week and wish all of you very great love and joy with our lord jesus christ take care we see bye bye